Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to not an episode of Operation Aerial. Uh, but I use that intro uh, on purpose because I want to discuss uh, Aerial, Operation Aerial in a moment. And as you can see, I'm currently driving my 1994 Toyota Starlet, which we named Operation Aerial. Anyway, um, what's the purpose of this video? Well, this video is intended as a channel update. As soon as I have this video uploaded, my summer vacation will start. And we take a left turn here. My summer vacation will start. And uh, I have planned uh, to go on a six week vacation. I really need to have a break from things. And um, well, I didn't want to leave you behind without saying anything. There are three things I wanna talk about. One is a channel update. The second is an update on the project cars and the third is an update on the real life car reviews. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty sunny day and uh, well, I'm driving aerial and it's 30 degrees outside and I do not have air conditioning and I hope the fan doesn't bother you all too much, but otherwise I would melt. So channel update. Um, the channel is currently approaching 2,300 subscribers and I'm super grateful for that. When I started the channel I didn't expect to gain even a thousand subscribers and now I'm already past the double of that. Anyway, I'm really thankful uh, and grateful for all the new subscribers and I hope the channel will continue to grow, although that is not a goal of myself to have a large as large as possible channel I just want to make videos on subjects that interest me and uh, well if anyone's interested um, then please subscribe but I do not try to feed or trigger the algorithm and gain as much clicks as possible um, because this is sort of a side gig for me and now I make a little bit of ad revenue but it's yeah next to nothing but anyway any growth is welcome and any new subscriber that has recently subscribed welcome to the channel so the second thing that i want to talk about is the project cars well as you may know project ls400 my 1994 lexus ls400 is what started this channel um, i wanted to provide information on the ls400 of the first generation and if need be i want to be able to ask information uh, on that subject i did over 30 episodes of project ls400 and it's been up and running for almost a year now um, i still have plenty of things to do or at least things i want to do to the car but um, yeah i do not have all the time in the world nor do i have all the money in the world unfortunately um, the LS400 has been running fine, there are still some issues that I need to iron out, but that involves and requires a lot of wrenching. And uh, yeah, for now the car is running just fine, I really enjoy driving the car, so throughout the summer I don't think I want to do much wrenching on the car and just enjoy it. And as soon as I'll get the car back in winter storage, I'll pick up on Project LS400. I must say the car is running fine and I like to cruise around it in the evenings and the weekends. And the car is so smooth and so quiet and the air suspension is just... I love driving that car. Anywho, um, new episodes will be coming later this year as soon as the car is heading out to winter storage. Now Operation Ariel. I only did two episodes on this car. And the reason being is um, this is our only car that has a tow hook and it's thus the only car that can, can carry our bike rack. And because of that we've been using the car a lot as a kids hauler, as a bike transporter, as a grocery gatherer. Uh, from the moment I had this car up and running and had it pass its MOT, um, it sort of became our daily driver and throughout autumn, winter and spring We've driven this car almost on a daily basis. I've now done over 10,000 kilometers in it, and that's a bit more than I had expected and planned. Um, fuel consumption is reasonable, 15 kilometers per liter. And yeah, it's a 30-year-old Toyota. It isn't the most beautiful in the world. That's one of the remainders of Operation Aerial. In terms of product, I want to do the bodywork and so, but the same as with the LS400. And um, yeah, there isn't much technical stuff to do to this car. I did an oil change, I replaced the front brake rotors and brake pads. 
and that's it. And I didn't film that and I didn't film that on purpose. Reason being when you do maintenance and you film it, it often takes twice as long. And simple fact of the matter is this car is a daily driver. So when I started wrenching on the car, I, need to have, I needed to have the car up and running at the end of the day again, so I didn't film it. So the operation part of Operation Aerial, well, yeah, that um, sort of came to a standstill, but the aerial part of Operation Aerial is doing perfectly fine. So that's the update on my project cars. Um, new episodes, new content will be coming later this year throughout the autumn and winter period. Car reviews now. And yeah, I did it, the first one on the Kia Niro, sort of to test the waters, how it was received and what the response would be. Well, let's take a turn here, it's a bit noisy readily in this car. But um, I was very surprised to see the number of views and the response those videos got, so I decided to uh, do more real-life car reviews. And as it stands, I have eight uh, test cars planned from starting next Monday, it's Friday evening right now, until the midst of October, so there are a lot of new real-life car reviews coming. And I think the format is sort of finding its way, but I would really like to hear from you viewers um, what you would like to see in the real-life car reviews. Do you miss anything? Do I need to change anything? Um, any constructive feedback is more than welcome, so let me know. And you can do that in the comments below this video, but I'll also leave my email address in the description so that you can email my, me directly uh, with suggestions, questions, and so on and so forth. Well, that's basically it. Um, on the real life car reviews, I want to say one thing, or actually two things. I try to keep the real life car reviews a bit low key, and I want to review um, the more accessible cars, even though cars have gotten amazingly expensive over the last two years. But anyway, I want to keep them, yeah, affordable, normal cars for a broader audience. But I have two surprises coming up, and one involves a 400 horsepower six cylinder, and one of almost 500 horsepower, which has a V8, just as sort of a treat to myself, and because I wanted to do something special. But in general, I want to keep the real life car reviews to the more normal, more affordable cars. And the second thing regarding the real life car reviews is um, well, it came via a viewer question when a viewer asked if I could review or do a comparison video between a Toyota and a Peugeot. Now, the thing is, uh, these real life car reviews started out as a sort of a branch off from my website called cardinal.nl, uh, on which I only test Japanese and Korean brands. And as it stands, I have plenty of work with those two markets, cars from in, coming from Japan and from Korea. So I want to stick to that. Uh, for a day job, I have to branch off to other manufacturers from other countries. So yeah, uh, I just don't have the time to test that much cars. So the real life car reviews for now will stick to Japanese and South Korean cars. So um, that's those are all the things that I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, there's been an accident on here, so... Um, sorry folks, I had to pause filming over there. That has been, a, well, it seemed like a severe accident and the uh, first responders were uh, doing the job. I didn't want to film that. Anyway, um, those are the updates to the channel and to the project cars and to the real-life car reviews. Anyway, um, while you see this, I have started my summer vacation. I hope you have a great summer, have a great summer vacation. And I'll be back probably end of August, early September, maybe sooner, but not any later. For now, thank you for watching and have a good summer. Bye.